Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Pinterest recreation which is this right here and this is a bunny apron dress. For my four year old I bought a yard of fabric to make this dress and what I did is cut a rectangle the length of my yard and then I used my measurements right here for the length of the skirt which was 12 and a half inches for me. My elastic I cut to the waist measurement of 21.5 and I cut out two rectangles here that is my 10 inches by my 8 inches for the top. What I'm going to do is fold it in half, measure at the bottom 2 inches and mark it and then going from the same corner up I measured up 3 inches and marked it and I cut a diagonal line connecting the two. And this is how I got the shape of my top. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold it over again and measure out the top to see how wide I want the bunny ears, which I decided to go three and a half inches. And then the length I wanted six inches. I wish I would have made this a little bit longer, so please make it a little bit longer if you decide to recreate this. But I went ahead and made my pattern and cut it out. And then just folded it over to make sure that it was symmetrical. And now I'm going to cut out four of the ears. Now that I have four ears, I'm going to go ahead and work on my skirt. So I'm just going to put it right sides together, pin down that side seam, and go ahead and sew it. Once it's sewn, I'm going to go ahead and put that side seam to the back to make it the back seam. And what we're going to do is we're going to zigzag stitch or serge the top and the bottom. And iron down the top, the length of our elastic, and the bottom we're going to go ahead and fold up and fold up again to hem it. Take the top and put it even to the center of that back right there just to see where it's going to lie. Take a pin and we're going to pin both of the sides of this to know where to stop and to start sewing. So we're going to sew this closed from one pin to the other pin, leaving the middle open. Put a safety pin to our elastic and go ahead and start bringing that through the casing. Make sure that you pin down the elastic so it don't come through. Once it's out the other side, we're going to go ahead and pin it down. And what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and pull it even more because I noticed that it's a little too big and I want my elastic to be snug. So I just went ahead and pulled it to where I think it would fit my daughter and go ahead and pin that down. I'm going to trim off the excess elastic and sew right here and right here. Now I'm moving on to my ears, putting them right sides together and sewing down the sides, leaving that top open to turn it right side out. I used a little tool to help me get those points out. And now our ears are done. Moving on to the neck tie piece, with using the measurement from the chest to around the neck, I went ahead and cut that out, which was eight inches by two and a half inches. And I'm just folding it right sides together, sewing up one side and one long side, leaving a little end open to turn it right side out. Now I'm laying down one of my top pieces and measuring in one and a half inches, laying down an ear, and just pinning that down. And then I'm going to take a strap piece with that unfinished seam pointing up. I'm also going to pin that down with it right on top. And repeat the same thing to the other side. Measure one and a half inches in, put my ear, and put the other strap right in the center. Pin that down and I'm going to sew right on top of these little ears. Put 
put my other top piece right on top and we're going to sew all the sides leaving the bottom open. Flipping it right side out, we're going to make sure that all the points are out. And take our pins out, of course. And this is what the top looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and serge or zigzag stitch the bottom. Now taking our skirt, we're going to go ahead and place it into where we left it flat on the skirt. Then go ahead and just start pinning that down. And we're going to sew right on top of it. Now moving on to the pocket, this is optional, but this is five and a half by six inches and I'm putting them right sides touching and I'm gonna sew up three sides, leaving the bottom open. Once that's done, I'm gonna turn it right side out and I'm gonna turn that bottom fabric in like this and I'm gonna sew two lines right on top of it. Now we have a closed little pocket and we're gonna go ahead and lay out our dress. Put our pocket down right on top and pin down three sides, leaving the top open. And then all we do is sew it. And this is the finished dress. I hope you like it. I think it looks so, so cute. I just wish I made the bunny ears a little bit longer, but that's okay. It's still adorable. So if you would like to recreate this, recreate it. It would be perfect for Easter. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you so, so much for watching.